My name's Marietta Mahani and this week's aqua tip we're using the noodle but we're actually going to use the noodle underneath the knee in not a position I'd actually used before until just recently. So I'm going to place a noodle underneath one knee so it's suspending my knee and what I'm going to do is now kick with both legs. So I'm alternating kick with both legs. Now what I'm feeling in each leg is actually very, very different. I'm feeling more in my, let's see, this is my, for you it would be my right leg, but I'm feeling in my hamstring on the right leg, so that's the leg that's not on the noodle. And I'm feeling it more in my quad on the leg that's on the noodle. So I'm pulling back hard with my right leg and I'm kicking forwards hard with my left leg. Oh, it's quite a good workout. Of course, my quadriceps on my right leg up muscle is also working. Get the words out, Marietta. So both legs are working, but there's a, a little bit of a difference in what you feel on each side. Now, to perform this exercise, you need to do like a sculling motion out to the side, and your body, you need to be sitting upright. Now, this is not a traveling move to be effective for your quads and your hamstrings, stay on the spot. Oh, it's quite effective because I don't have to work to try and keep myself suspended, but all my legs are getting a really good workout. It's fantastic. Let's try the other side. So swapping over to the other side and now kicking. Woo, yup. So great lower body exercise. So let's put it down to that. So quads, hamstrings get a good workout. Of course, my heart rate's going up because my arms and my legs are both moving at the same time, right? Hands are sculling out to the side. So I'm getting a bit of a chest, upper body, shoulder workout as well. And I'm staying on the spot. So I'm also in quite shallow water. So it doesn't matter how deep or how shallow your pool is, you can do this exercise at any depth. Yeah. Awesome little exercise. And that's this week's aqua tip. All right, how to demonstrate that alternate kick with the noodle underneath your knee. Now, of course, it's gonna be obvious. You're gonna be sitting down, right? So a chair would be great. You pop the noodle underneath the knee that you're demonstrating with, and you're now kicking. You could hold the noodle, so you say, okay, everyone, sculling your hands out to the side, and now lifting your feet up off the bottom of the pool, kicking the legs, making sure that you pull your heels back, keep your body upright over your hips and scull the hands to the side. But I like to use a frame for this, I'm gonna be honest, because I feel it's a little messy on the chair because it's hard to grip the noodle underneath your knee, right? What I'll do is I sit on the back of the, of the chair, I grip the noodle, with the knee. Now that foot tucks in underneath the chair and I'm now kicking the legs. So I've got the arms out here. I've got the noodle underneath my knee and I'm saying, okay, everyone, now we're sculling. So I'm actually using the, the, I'm using the thigh to hold that end of the noodle up, right? And I'm able to kick at least one leg, sculling the arms out to the side. And what we're doing is we're kicking both legs. You're not just moving one leg, you're kicking both legs. So both legs moving forwards and back. Make sure you're kicking forwards and back hard enough to feel this in your thighs. And whilst you're doing that, add the, the sculling arms out to the side. And I just feel like it's a little bit clearer than doing it on a chair. Now, there's a trick to sitting on the frame. So remember the aqua frame's got those little legs out the back. If you want to uh, hold yourself in place, I always tuck my foot in behind the frame and that makes me feel a lot more secure. Now I can add that other kicking leg and then I've got the arms out to the side. So tuck your, tuck your foot around so that you're actually holding yourself up using that foot. So I'm using my leg to keep me still. Otherwise it does feel pretty precarious. Now of course, once we start demonstrating the alternate kicking leg, it's a lot easier because your feet are actually physically off the floor and then you'll need to show with the arms. Or you can demonstrate with the middle underneath your knee, demonstrate the kicking legs, then add the arms, 
but they all know that the noodle is singing the knee. There's a couple ways of doing that. Always make sure that you're telling them where they need to feel it, front to the back of their thighs, and they should be getting their heart rate up. And that's going to help them understand what sort of effort they need to apply when they're doing this exercise in the pool. And that is this week's aqua tip.